So this is my pink lady apple tree. As you can see it's got some small fruit developing here. I planted it when it was about a third of this size here and it's, it's growing up nicely. It's probably about a metre and a half. Um, whereas over here I've got a royal gala apple tree which, which was planted at the same time and at the same size. It's, it's got a lot more foliage um, and growth than the uh, pink lady. So the royal gala is going quite well. But I've noticed um, Unfortunately, you can see there some of the um, leaves and it tends to be a bit more prone to, to getting the, the woolly aphid infestation um, than the other one. You can see up here that there's a ladybug up on the tree um, feeding on some of the aphids that are there. But also you can see some of the, some of the um, white residue that's growing on the tree. So the question, the question or you know, debate that I have in my mind is whether or not I get onto these aphids. As you can see, the bottom of this leaf is getting infest, infested with the with the aphids. Um, so the question will be whether or not I use a solution to to try and control it a little bit without killing the, the ladybugs. So one suggestion um, is to use a combination. This is what I'll be using today. Is just to use a, a small quantity of of methylated spirits, which is effectively an alcohol. It helps to, to dehydrate the, the skin of the aphid to, to dry it up and a little bit of um, detergent as well to um, help the, the water bond or stick to the water while it dries out the aphids. The trick will be to make sure that I avoid spraying it directly on the ladybug because obviously you don't want to get rid of uh, beneficial insects um, and at the same time not using dangerous uh, pesticides yeah, in the garden as well is a good idea. As, so I've also got some aphids out the front on my roses. So what I'll do, I'll mix up this solution and give it a spray targeting the, the infestation directly as well as the white uh, woolly residue that's growing on the tree and, and see how it goes. So as I've been going around targeting the spray on this tree, I've seen quite a few of the pre-larval stage um, ladybugs, or at least it's, it's part of the ladybug life cycle. If you're worrying about what these bugs are, they're actually the ladybugs um, are prior to them turning into ladybugs. So you can see there's, there's another, stop catching the leaves there, there's another, there's another pre-larval bug up, up the top there, it's not coming into focus there. But um, yeah, so I've, I've actually held back from spraying the tree too heavily, hoping that in fact that these ladybugs, you can see one of the one of the adult ladybugs there is doing its job in uh, trying to heat up the, the aphids but I, I think uh, from history last year the aphids really did get a bit on top of the tree so where there hasn't been any ladybug insects or pre-larval ladybugs I've, I've done a targeted spray. You can see here again this is a, another life cycle stage on my plum tree of the ladybug I wouldn't worry about these bugs, you certainly don't need to spray these guys because they're the beneficial ladybugs prior to turning into them. Um, so just be mindful of that. I also get, uh, I'm also getting a slight infest infestation on my heritage uh, plum tree as well. So I'll keep an eye on that, but I'm not going to spray at this stage because it's not too bad. 